Hi, my name's Cassius Rayner and I'm a filmmaker and iPhone cinematographer. So today's video we're going to explore slow motion using Filmic Pro. We're going to find out the reasons we would use it and why we use it. Also we'll look at the resolution and the frame rates and hopefully a couple of tricks as well. So let's dive straight into the video and let's take a look. So as filmmakers, we use slow motion for a huge variety of reasons. So it is a really powerful tool to use in film. But it's also really important that you know where you place it and what is its purpose and why is it there? What is it you're trying to get from the audience? What do you want them to hone in on? And what emotion are you trying to evoke in them? So let's take a look at this short little video clip where I'm using combination of slow motion at 60 frames per second and really trying to draw the audience in on the actual emotions and the pain that the actor's feeling through this clip. So let's check it out. So I deliberately used slow motion for that particular clip because I wanted the audience to feel slightly uncomfortable. And using the slow motion and that specific lighting, everything's concentrated on what the actor is doing. Your eyes are really fixed to it and you're drawing the audience in because of the slow motion. You're really seeing huge amounts of detail. And so used in the right way, it's a fantastic tool. So let's pick out um, a key issue that does come up a time and time again, which is flickering in the image when you're shooting in slow motion. And the reason that happens when you're filming on the streets and you pick up some lights in a house or lights coming from the lamppost um, is that your, your shutter speed is out of sequence to the light source. So they're kind of doing this. They're out of sequence and so you pick up on the flickering and that's because you've slowed your shutter speed down and lights working at either 50 hertz or 60 hertz causing this issue. So because of that, um, there are ways that we can correct that problem obviously in post-production. So that we're gonna check that out. But I would suggest that when you do, when you're on location and before you start filming, try to do a recce of the area. Try and find out where those lights are. Because to be honest, it's much easier to be able to shoot around those issues so that you don't have to deal with it in post-production. But if you can't avoid it and it ends up uh, in your video clip and you don't like it, then there are a couple of ways that we can tackle that problem. So let's find the video clip that you've made that's got some flickering in it. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually copy that clip and layer it on top in the edit. Then you're gonna move it forward just by one frame, not one second, but one frame. Then you're going to reduce it by 50% opacity in the settings. And then you'll find that it will have reduced the flickering. Now, not in all cases will it get rid of the flickering. In some cases, it may do. But generally, it will just really reduce the flickering issue so it doesn't become a distraction. If the shot's really important, then it won't be a distraction to the audience. Now, that's one way of getting around the problem. So if that method doesn't work for you, you can always search for third-party software that you can download into your edit that can correct the Flickr issues. One in particular is called Flickr Free by Digital Anarchy. Uh, it's really expensive, so please do try that first method. But if it doesn't work, then do explore those options. So this second slow motion video clip I want to show you uh, is another little example. But this is where actually, for me, the flicker works. We're out in location filming uh, at some train stations and on obviously the train itself. And we found that obviously with the types of lights that were used in the exteriors, 
um, we were getting a flickering issue. And I was very aware that we had a flicker issue uh, in recording. But because of the style and the way that I wanted to film it, I felt in fact that it actually was complementing what I was filming. So in some cases, depending on how you're planning, flickering can actually add something to your shot. You don't always have to remove it. It really, really depends on you, you know, and what you want. But for me, in this, in this particular clip, it, um, it worked really well. And it was something I was very pleased with. So that's about it for this video. I hope that you got something from it or you found some aspects of it interesting um, and maybe picked up on a couple of pointers. So do remember, Filmic Pro slow motion capability is fantastic, it's amazing, but think about how you're gonna use it. Okay, if you don't know much about Filmic Pro, do check them out on the App Store or Google Play. I really do appreciate you watching my videos. I hope that you've really got something from it and I very much look forward to bringing you the next video. Thanks for your time, cheers.